be a shakedown on the way. Take us out, nice and slow. This is your show, Captain. But try not to scratch my ship. It's older than you. Captain, put the old lady through her paces. That's an order. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to Dreadnought. I am your host, Anastrino One, and it is time to do this. It's not new. This is in closed beta. It's not released yet. All right, now we're moving. Simulation but it's something I'm definitely looking into advised. for the we're future. The training vessel with a rookie captain. I love space combat. Uh, a huge fan of just the unlimited things that we have uh, potentially in our future when it comes to space sims and and things like that. So I'm really, really looking forward. Uh, to what the future kind of has in store. So I thought I would show off this. Um, Take us to these coordinates, Captain. Engage the thrusters. Closed beta has been out since I want to say Bay is the only place middle of last year. A real battleship, you know, from the good old days, the Great Solar War. Do you see all the traffic? Those are refugees and rebels coming here in search of liberty or answering the call for adventure. And we keep Sydney Bay tax free. Now these are massive ships, so think of these are not tiny ships, so moving them is not gonna be Here's as the easy. Dorsal and ventral thrusters. That means go up and down. Now, divert energy to the thrusters and take us to the next stop. <laughs> I apologize. Keep going. Next stop is Sydney Bay's private shooting range. We're gonna shoot some tin cans. so the crew can run diagnostics. I mean, just look at how beautiful this ship Make is. Make sure the energy systems are turned off, Captain. The energy system is offline now. We need to check our weapons systems now. Hold on a sec. The target should arrive any moment. Use your primary weapons to destroy the target. Don't worry, it's already marked for scuttling. Hmm. You show promise. Okay. Now, divert energy to the weapons and fire on the next target. I'm getting impatient, Captain. Good. Now switch to flak turrets and target it again. <laughs> wow. Just the firepower in this, it's so cool. It's time to put on a real show. Let's test the ship's modules. Use them to fire at the targets. Keys one, two, three, four. All right, so let's go one. Oh. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> oh. uh. Take offensive modules offline. Let's run through our defensive systems. Activate the anti-missile laser now. Unless you want to pay for the next paint job. Use three and four. Nice. Not bad. Defense systems are crucial in any battle, Captain. Excellent. Now, take the module systems offline and divert energy to the shields. Well done. All systems are green. We're good to go. Let's head back to the docking bay. Incoming 
Raiders. All hands to battle stations. All hands. Roger that, Sydney STC. All right. You heard the news. Playtime is over. We're warping into battle. Time is over. Time to see what you're made of, Captain. Eliminate the enemy, enemy raiders. Incoming. Watch out. The Corvette is one hell of a fast ship and not easy to target. Try to keep the destroyer at mid-range. Oh, you're about to be destroyed. I ain't gonna mess with you anymore. Watch it. Beautiful. Get on there. Nice. Ahoy, Captain. This is your Allied Tac Cruiser here, patching you up. We've got your back now. We move really slow. But this is kind of like fractured space uh, with these huge ships. Enemy dreadnought detected. That flying fortress easily matches our firepower. Don't let them get close to our allies. A dreadnought doesn't give second chances. Alright, so that just fires from the side, so you don't want to aim at that. Let's get... Oh, he's warping. Oh, nice. Confirmed. Woo. Enemy dreadnought destroyed. Okay, that is seriously fun. Better stay out of Sydney Bay. That's it. That's the last of them. Wow. That was surprisingly impressive, Captain. Let's head back. You're ready for the real thing. Send the STC, Bix here. I don't know if I'm quite ready for that real thing yet, though. <laughs> We're heading home. Clear top six. But I gotta admit, this looks like a hell of a lot of fun. I wish I would have looked into this earlier. It's been in closed beta for a while. The open beta is going to be coming out sometime soon this year. Um... Just more awesome space games for us to play. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Not only can you go into these like um, to fight. Now it's all multiplayer, okay? So like this is against other real people, which is really really cool. But you got your hangar, which you can choose um, some of the different. Uh, you know, you can take a look at your ships, as you can see here. And the detail on these ships are just absolutely amazing. Now, the beta uh, is for PlayStation 4 and for PC. You can sign up. I'll have the link in the description to sign up for the, the beta. It is free. Um, or you can get a Foundry pack and you can pay a little bit of money to get in and to have, like, kind of a... Uh, some more ships to mess around with at the very beginning and other stuff like that so it's pretty cool all different kinds of ships here to mess with as you can see an artillery cruiser is basically a giant cannon with engines nailed to the back of it she's designed to decimate targets from a distance a well-placed shot from the main gun can cripple an enemy ship a lot of moving parts means not a lot of armor so she's not gonna hold up for long at close ranges Keep a weather eye out for aggressive maneuvers from the faster enemy vessels. You can see how weak, weak this ship would be, but this is more of your, I guess, uh, sniper type of ship. And there is so much customization that you get in, actually get into, like, 
appearance wise. The best captains go into battle with a personalized ship that stands out from the crowd. So you can change the patterns and we've got 3000 points as you can see here. You can go in and cost money to change things or not real money, but I guess the more you play then the 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 more options that you're going to have available. So let's see, let's take a look at this one. You can customize the ship, you can remove it from your fleet. Tactical cruisers are light mobile ships used to support for allies. On the rare occasion we actually have any allies. Attack cruiser's main weapon is a directed energy beam. It was reverse engineered from transhuman technology so it can be used to either repair allies or fry enemies. Attack cruisers tend to get targeted first in battle. My advice? Stick close to the heavier ships and keep them supported while they take the brunt of the enemy attack. So this is like your medic ship. This allows you to heal. So you want to keep these guys alive. Uh, let's see what else. Got veteran ships, legendary ships right now. We're, we're so, we're not even, I've not even played a real match yet. I just wanted to go in and show you the tutorial and kind of what you can get used to. But you can see how you can continually make more ships, customize those ships, um, upgrade all the ships. As you can see, there's so many upgrade points that they just keep on moving. I mean, it's, I'm surprised how deep this customization is. But it, this is something I'm definitely going to be look, taking a look into a lot more uh, starting now since I just now got the uh, access to the beta, which it's, it's, it's been out for a little while. And I'm sure some of you have probably heard about it. But uh, I'm, I'm usually a little late to the game here because I'm you always playing stealth games. But um, I have a secret love for all of these types of games. I'm just a gamer in general. So everyone always thinks that I only like to play stealth games because that's what you know I normally do on my channel. But... I just love playing games, and ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to explore the universe and the stars, but because I had such bad eye vision and I'm blind in one eye, I can't, uh, I, I could never pursue my love of wanting to be like an astronaut, which was something I wanted to do growing up, uh, but I couldn't do it. I didn't have the eyesight for it, obviously, so I have to live vicariously through these kind of games, and now, finally, the technology is just getting so much better to where... Uh, you can actually get something out of these types of games. They can feel like how you wanted them to feel when you were a kid. So I love it, and um, I would definitely like to know what you guys think of it. Have you played Dreadnought? What do you think of it? Um, a lot of people compare this with uh, Fractured Space, and I, I did a video for Fractured Space uh, a little while ago, and I enjoyed that as well. So let me know what you guys think of this, and if you want to see more footage, please let me know in the comments. These are some games I just like to play for fun where I don't even feel I have to record and I can just enjoy it. Sometimes when you're a YouTuber, you kind of lose that feeling of just enjoying a game and not worrying about recording it and putting it on YouTube. I want to put this video on there to show you guys it, but after this, I just want to play and have fun. And if anyone else out there that has Dreadnought and you want to play, please let me know in the comments below and we can have uh, some awesome fun. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And again, let me know what you think and I'll talk to you next time. Peace out.